Hi guys, I'm Sam. I used Chemistry Play skincare for a whole month and this is that video. Here are the two products I bought. I got the 20% vitamin C serum and I also got the azelaic acid 10% plus niacinamide 10% serum. I'll put timestamps in the description box in case you want to just skip forward to the results part of the video. But if you want to know why I made the decision to buy these, then keep watching. I'm a designer and a marketer. And can I just say, I'm in love. It's so colorful, their Instagram is so vibrant. The language that they use to describe all their ingredients and their products is so friendly and explanatory and it's not like too scientific so it's great for beginners to get into. So the products arrived in this bright pink box. Wait, let me show you. It says, I can already feel the chemistry between us. And chemistry at play, I feel it too. Yeah, and each of the products is like one color on the Vidgar spectrum. Their products are free of silicones, parabens, phthalates, mineral oil, fragrance and gluten. Here's why I bought the vitamin C and niacinamide. <coughs> so the first reason why I didn't buy all the products is because this bitch has a budget. And the second reason is that I'm a little traumatized by using exfoliating serums. I went to this dermatologist once who told me to use 10% glycolic acid cream every single night and I did and my pigmentation got worse and I started having like itchiness and like my sunscreen would start burning my face and it was just a mess. So I stayed away from the 10% lactic acid thing that they have but I'm sure it's okay, it's not glycolic acid but I'm just a little wuss because of past experience. So the final reason that I bought these two and probably the most important is because having sensitive and dry skin that also has acne is quite a challenge and if you have it I completely understand I'm right there with you. I'm always on the lookout for products that are not going to strip my skin of the oils and the natural skin barrier that it already has. So I got really excited when Instagram suggested Chemistry Play Skincare to me because all of their products have ceramides in them. Yes! I feel like the slightly higher price point for these serums is justified because if you're using one of these under your moisturizer, as long as your moisturizer is fragrance free, I think you're gonna get a lot of benefits just from one serum itself. I've had a pretty stable skincare routine for a while now, for over a month, and I know what to expect out of it. So any results that I'm seeing, I'm making sure that they are only from these two products. I took videos every week for four weeks and I tracked the progress that I made. I'll just show you the skincare routine that I used in the morning and in the night and then show you the results. So this is my rapid fire morning routine. First I get my hair out of my way and wash with my Cetaphil gentle cleanser and then rinse and pat dry and try to look cute while doing it. Next I use the vitamin C serum. It's fragrance free so it smells a little funky but you get used to it. It's got a slightly cloudy formula and it has supporting antioxidants, vitamin E and ferulic acid. This is something you should always look for when you're buying vitamin C. <laughs> the version that I bought has witch hazel in it, but apparently yesterday they released a new batch and they've removed witch hazel from the formula. So if you were um, a little worried about that, they fixed that as well. Next, I put on the legendary CeraVe cream that a friend got for me. Thank you. And then I move on to two finger lengths of sunscreen and then just really get in there. In my eyebrows, in my hairline, everything. Then I try and clean it up and I'm done. At night, I start with double cleansing using the plum balm cleanser. I put it on, emulsify, wash it off. Then I use my Requil salicylic acid cleanser, put it on, let it lather and then stay for two minutes. Then I wash it off. Next I use the niacinamide and azelaic serum. Both of these ingredients are great for pigmentation, inflammation, irritation and all those bitchy skin behaviors. 
I found some bits of undissolved white powder towards the end of the month in the serum which I think might be niacinamide because they say it's kind of hard to dissolve in like higher percentages. I know that there's a huge debate about 10% niacinamide irritating some people's skin but this is not my first rodeo with niacinamide in a high percentage. I've used it before and my skin really loves it so I didn't hesitate while buying this. Next I use the CeraVe cream again. I have a video coming up about dupes for this in the Indian market so stay tuned for that. On day 1 I was dealing with some hyperpigmentation and pesky PMS breakouts. I really hope it works on this. It's like a battle scar from this kind of bad acne I had last month. So it's day 3 now and this is what my face looks like. Um, let's see. The pigmentation is still there. I have some small breakouts because it's PMS season. <laughs> but my skin feels pretty good. This is what my skin looks like right now. This is week one. God, I need to do my eyebrows. Hey guys, it's week 2 and I just finished using the Chemistry Play skincare for 14 days now. One thing that I noticed is usually during my period cycle, um, the last two weeks should have been really acne ridden but I just had like the beginnings of breakouts and then they went away. So I think that the niacinamide and azelaic acid serum has been working. I know I sounded really unenthusiastic over there. It's because I had period cramps and I was just dying on the inside. Anyway, here's my skin. This is where the pigmentation first started to fade. Hey guys, it's day number 20, like 3-ish. As I watch these clips, I realize that you guys are gonna notice how fast my facial hair grows back. So let's just ignore that. <laughs> this spot right here is doing pretty well. It looks pretty bad on my viewfinder, but in real life it looks lighter. So I'm clicking some selfies over the week so that I can show you an accurate side-by-side -side comparison. What I've noticed during the past week is that my skin just feels fresh. I'm pretty happy with the results so far. Hello! Um, four weeks are done. It is now day 30 and this is the final result. At this point my pigmentation had faded so much that I got worried I won't be able to film my acne coverage tutorial. It's still not completely clear, but I feel like I've got the results I wanted because I have not broken out all month. I haven't broken out at all. And if you remember like a month ago when I first started using the product, I had all these small small breakouts over my face. That's what usually happens every single month, but this month it didn't happen. As you can tell, I was happy. <laughs> Now that you've seen that, let's just talk about other factors that might have improved my skin during the month. So the weather suddenly got really cold, so I feel like that always helps my skin calm down a little bit. And another thing is that I've been really really careful about drinking water. <laughs> I know, I'm one of those people who doesn't drink enough water, but I'm trying very hard. So that might also be a thing. Although a lot of dermatologists say that it doesn't really make a difference. But yeah, but usually when I eat a lot of sugar and junk food, I see a lot of bad breakouts on my face. And this month I ate junk food, let me tell you. This is actually my first ever vitamin C serum. I know, I know, I'm starting a YouTube channel on skincare and I hadn't tried vitamin C until now. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? And let me tell you, I was living under a rock. I really love vitamin C. My skin has never felt more fresh and like vibrant. Um, the bottle lasted me a whole month and I still have like half of it left at least. It should last you at least two months. Here's my final verdict on the Chemist at Play skincare products. If you have sensitive acne prone skin, I feel like this is probably the best product on the market to try for your skin. That was my review. I hope you liked watching the video. If you give these products a try, let me know in the comments what 
your experience was and which product you used i wanted to say thank you to those of you who subscribed after watching the last two videos it was really heartwarming to see that you saw something in me and i really hope that i can deliver the kind of quality videos that you deserve subscribe if you like this video and you thought it was not too shabby and i'll see you guys in the next video okay bye Thank you.